touch. See, that's what we also want. So when there are problems, people misunderstand us, what do we do? What do we do? We get upset, even if no one is looking, I start crying. Why are you crying? Why are you so upset? The reason is, I expect encouragement. That's the reason we don't grow up. Look at this man, look at the nature of God. Joseph is doing no wrong, but God is not stepping in to help him. The lady has the coat. Now what will you do when the lady has the all the evidence says that Joseph has done something wrong. Has he done anything? But what is the evidence saying? Can he say, open his mouth and defend himself? Can you see how God is trapping Joseph? He cannot open his mouth to defend himself. What is everyone saying? Man, you did something wrong. And this young man has done no wrong. If you are there standing before Joseph, whose side will you take? Joseph's or the wife of Hotepur? Because we are looking for the evidence. But thank God, God is looking at the heart. See, Joseph did no wrong. Still, why did God allow him to go through all of that? I'm closing now. God is molding his nature. He's preparing him for Egypt. He's preparing him to sit on the throne. You and I, God has called us with a heart. There is a throne waiting for us. And he wants us to become mature. But if I have to become mature, I need to take care of my spiritual life. If I don't take care of my spiritual life, you read what he said. You looked for much, but you got little. And when you brought it home, I blew it away. Simple reason. I need to value how precious that salvation is that we have got. Amen. He has forgiven my sins. Now I don't have to fear the white throne judgment because I am saved. I am not afraid of hell anymore. I have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. But that doesn't mean that I take my salvation lightly. It's very precious. I need to grow out. We are about to pray now. What are we supposed to do in the days to come? Each one of us. When I take care of my spiritual needs, my life will become a blessing for so many. There are so many who are going to come in the days to come. You cannot bring them to the church, but you can start a Bible study in your homes. Is it true? And you can open a Bible study in the marketplace, in your workplace. Start sharing and start walking. And when you do that, so many will come. This church has been a blessing for this place. Many other churches have to start. And you all need to go out and win souls. This church, God is not going to leave this church. God is going to bless Amen. this church. This church has been a blessing. But we all have a responsibility. Just sitting here on the pews is not enough. We need to go out. Each one of us. But if that has to happen, the key thing is, I need to take care of my spiritual life. Take heed how you build. He was very particular concerning the building of the tabernacle. He's very particular concerning the building of my spiritual life. Because this is the temple of the Most Holy God. Am I walking according to God's will? If I am walking, He will take care. Joseph doesn't have to worry about anything. He will give us the grace. Let's close our eyes and go ahead. And the coming of the Lord is very near. Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of God, but one who does His will. Today, as we step out of this church, let us step out with a dedication, Lord, I just want to feel thy presence. I want to hear your voice. Thank you, Jesus. It's not a thinking that you are there with me. I need to feel thy presence. I need to hear your voice. I have done a lot of talking, but I want you to do a talk now. You are there with me. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for the promises. Thank you for the covenant. Thank you for the precious word. We thank God for keeping our pastor alive. It's, it's, a, it's a privilege Amen. to once again come into God's house with our pastor. Physically he's not well, but God has kept him alive. Amen. Hallelujah. God has blessed each one of us. Just look back the ways God has been leading each one of us. How is my spiritual life? It's easy for us to teach others, but how am I walking? Is God pleased with the way I am walking? If not, let's come and ask the Lord, help me to be serious about my Christian life. More than my material things, help me to walk the way you want me to walk. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's make a dedication before the Lord. He is faithful. He will never, ever leave us. I just as we shared, Billy and the prophet came to curse Israel. He ended up blessing because God is with them. Same way there is someone with me. He happens to be the creator of the universe. Lord, help me to walk with you. Hallelujah. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a blessed hope we have. Thank you, Jesus. May God bless us by this words. Anybody need prayer?